Hi guys, um, if you like the content that I produce every week, uh, please feel free to uh, subscribe for my Patreon account for only $3 a month. I will give you guys exclusive content that I don't show here in the channel. Thank you very much for your support. The City Hall was the largest and the most expensive building in the city of Johannesburg, 900,000 Rand at the time. And this construction was a major event. Before the construction, a nationwide competition was launched to find the best design. A cave firm of architects, Hawk and McKinley, won the competition. The eastern end of Market Square where one half was purchased by the Joburg Town Council from the South African government and then later donated the other half on condition that the town hall was built. In November 1910, the town hall's cornerstone was laid by Prince Arthur, Duke of Cognac, and start here on land previously known as Market Square. The construction started in 1910 and completed in December 1914. The town hall was officially opened on the 7th of April 1915 by the South African Governor General Lord Buxton, having been presented a golden key by the builder Matthias Meishk. With the building open to the public for two days, the building was officially in use earlier, having opened on the 26th of January 1915. On the 5th of September 1928, Johannesburg was proclaimed the city by the administrator of the Transvaal, J.H. Hofmeyer, in front of a crowd gather in the square of the now City Hall in 1937. On the 12th of October 1979, City Hall was designated a national monument. After the 1994 South African elections, the Gauteng Provisional Legislature moved from Pretoria to Johannesburg. And on the 21st of October 1995, the City Hall would become its new home. The Johannesburg City Council sold the City Hall in November 2001 for 20 million rand to the Gauteng Provincial Legislature with a legal transfer in 2003. The sale of the City Hall also included the Harry Ophemia parking garage, the archive areas of the Johannesburg City Library and the Bayesnod Gardens, which lies between the library and the hall. Okay guys, thank you very much for watching the video. Once again, please comment, share and subscribe and many more will come. Thank you. Bye.